What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Milo and I do travel and lifestyle vlogs. And today we're in Madrid, Spain, and it's actually our last 24 hours here in Madrid. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how much can we do in 24 hours. Should be a fun day, all right? Remember if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button, activate the bell so you guys get notified when all my videos come out. And if you enjoyed this vlog, hit the thumbs up. All right, let's go. Our first stop is located in the heart of downtown Madrid. Just two minutes away from Plaza Mayor, you'll find Chocolateria San Ginés. This chocolateria was founded in 1894. It's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and it is the best spot in town to have some traditional Spanish churros with chocolate. Six churros and a cup of chocolate is gonna cost you about five euros, but believe me, it is totally worth it. The churros here are to die for. It's located on Calle de Coloreros in the center of Madrid. And I mean, just look at how many people are here having breakfast or, or just having a snack. All right, so now that we have our churros and chocolate we're gonna make our way over to the royal palace or el palacio real Welcome to the Palacio Real or the Royal Palace here in Madrid. And this is actually where the head of state or the Spanish monarchy lives. Well, the current ones live in another palace. So this is actually used for official events and official visits, I guess. But it is stunning. It's something that you definitely have to come see, experience for yourself when you come to Madrid. One of my favorite things about downtown Madrid is the fact that most, if not all of the things to see and do are at a walking distance from each other. And the perfect example of this is the Almudena Cathedral and the Palacio Real that are literally next to each other or one after the other, depending on how you're looking at them. They actually share this beautiful courtyard that has beautiful views of Madrid. The Almudena Cathedral is a Catholic church in Madrid. It is actually the seat of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Madrid. The cathedral was consecrated by Pope John Paul II in 1993. From an architectural standpoint, the cathedral is in Gothic, Neo-Romanesque style. Its construction started on April 4th, 1883, and it was completed until June 15th of 1993. So it took about 110 years to be built. I guess this explains why the cathedral looks so modern compared to other cathedrals and basilicas throughout Europe. I am uh, speechless with the beauty of the cathedral. It's just, wow. The, the detail, the pieces of art, it's just insane. All right, after this stop, which is right next to the Palacio Real, we're gonna head now to the Parque El Retiro or Parque El Retiro, which is also stunning from the pictures I've seen. And uh, from here to Parque El Retiro is about a 30 minute walk. On our way to Parque El Retiro from the Almudena Cathedral, we decided to make the following two stops. First, Plaza Mayor. Plaza Mayor is a major public space in the heart of Madrid. 
The plaza was built under the reign of Philip III, and this is why you'll find a statue of him in the middle of the plaza. Now, the plaza was used as a marketplace for food and other goods. It's also been the site of many events like bullfights, public executions, trials during the Spanish Inquisition, and crowning ceremonies. Our second stop is another famous plaza called Puerta del Sol. In the Puerta del Sol, you're going to find hotels, restaurants, bars, cafes, and of course, the current headquarters of the Madrid regional government. Now, La Puerta del Sol is famous because this is the place to be to ring in the new year if you're in Madrid. All right, so after a little bit over 30 minutes of walking, we're finally here, Parque El Retiro. Obviously, it took us a little bit longer because I'm making the video, stopping, filming, taking photos. So again, from Palacio Real all the way here, I'll say anywhere between 30 to 40 minutes if you stop to take photos and stuff like that, but it's worth it. Parque El Retiro is huge, but it's beautiful. I guess the best way to put it is, this is Madrid's version of Central Park in New York, or it's the equivalent of Central, Cent Central Park in New York. And then just to let you know, inside the park, there are restrooms or bathrooms, but check the line out. But at least you have a bathroom option. Wow, guys, uh, Parque El Retiro or the Retiro Park is just unbelievably beautiful. I mean, just check this out. It's insane, like the amount of just details in the sculptures, the scenery, the ambience. Right now, I don't know if you guys can hear, but we got some young guys just playing the trumpet and the saxophone. It's just awesome. It's just so dope. It's insane. And then just look at this entrance. Like, seriously? What the? F it's just crazy. But now we're gonna make our way out of the Retiro and we're gonna head over to the Abad Temple. Right, guys we made it to the Puerta de Alcalá it's right outside Parque El Retiro and it's just impressive and then just so you guys know this whole street was closed yesterday for the celebration for Real Madrid's uh, championship and it's nuts it's nuts to think that they closed all these streets just to to have it filled up with people to, to celebrate a soccer a soccer title <laughs> So on our way to the Temple of the Wat, we made our stop in Plaza España. And as you guys can see, it's full with people just having fun. It's Sunday, so I guess that also explains why there's so much people, so much life just, you know, happening. And it's just awesome, awesome, awesome. Check this out. Guys, welcome to the Devot Temple. Now, these are some ancient 
Egyptian ruins that were brought from Egypt to Madrid and they were actually placed in the same direction, like facing the same way that they were originally facing back in Cairo. So again, if you want to see a little bit more of Egypt and that side of the world, you're in Madrid, you have to make your way over here. I don't know, I guess I'm just in love with the streets of Madrid, especially downtown Madrid. It's just so nice. Um, it's, it's weird. Some of the streets are incredibly busy. Others are just like this, empty, kind of like calm and stuff. It's just, I don't know, unbelievable. It's, it's incredible. Every corner is so, photogenic, I guess. Um, you literally feel like just snapping pictures all day long of every corner. It's, it's nice, it's awesome. I mean, there are only two cities that I felt what I'm feeling right now, this type of vibe. One, New York City and Madrid. It's awesome. Guys, welcome to the Museo Nacional del Prado or the Prado National Museum here in Madrid, Spain. And this museum is actually one of the most important and visited museums in the entire world. So unfortunately today is Sunday, tomorrow is a national holiday here in Spain. I'm not sure if it's Mother's Day or Labor Day. Um, it's closed and it's also, I guess, under renovations on the other side. So we couldn't enter and we're leaving Madrid tomorrow to Mallorca. So again, I guess this is something else you can include in a trip to Madrid. If you have a 24 hour layover or you're just here for 24 hours, I guess this would be the perfect itinerary to do when you come here to Madrid. And with that, from Madrid, from Museo del Prado, I'll see you guys in the next video oh but wait hold on before i let you guys go if you haven't done so yet hit the subscribe button activate the bell so you guys get notified when all my videos come out and if you enjoy the vlog hit the thumbs up if you're coming to madrid hit the thumbs up and uh have fun guys peace